Welcome to another episode of Feeding Time TV. And today, we're here with my buddy, The Wizard. And we're gonna try out some of his food. He's operating out of a ghost kitchen right now, but you said late April you'll be uh, in your food truck in Philadelphia, right? The Wizard truck. The Wizzle truck. So, how about you walk us through the sandwiches you got here for us, and then we're gonna dig in and we're gonna taste them all. Sure. So right up front here, we have the Tracy. It's a uh, roasted cauliflower with some cheese Whiz and uh, crispy onions. Really good, very well seasoned. Uh, right here, we have the Torta. Torta's with uh, cheesesteak with pepper jack cheese and tortilla strips and a nice chili lime crema. Uh, this is a take on our Winston sandwich. So it's a cheesesteak with truffle salt, but in this case, I put truffle burrata on top. Uh, this is the Grizzly, which I added some beef bacon to uh, as a little extra bonus. Um, it has molasses and then also some raised barbecue sauce. Um, here is the Carroza. This is a deep fried grilled cheese. It's, a, it's an actual thing. I didn't invent it. I can't take the credit. It looks amazing. Yeah, thank you. Gee, that's ridiculous. I appreciate it. So basically, it is just a deep fried grilled cheese, but you know, it has good flavor. I did some special things to it. You dip it in marinara sauce, almost like a much better, much bigger mozzarella stick. Um, and this is the Frizzle. Um, I know soft pretzels are everywhere right now with sandwiches. I put a uh, cream cheese mayonnaise spread on the bottom, uh, steak very well seasoned with fried onions, and some cheese was on top, and these are very special soft pretzels from the Mighty Bread Company that they made especially for me. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna dig in right now. I gotta, I gotta check this cheese out of everything. I, this has been eyeing me up. Oh, Kurt, you see this? Look how sexy that is. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> I like that you season the cheese, too. Need a little boost. Mm-hmm. A little oregano, garlic, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. I want you to see it. No, no, that's close. That's close. A little bit of butter. A mm. little bit of butter. Yeah, you gotta try this, man. Up to mm. you, man. Now this says beef bacon. No one ever talks about beef bacon. It's, it's like a really great alternative to pork. Um, I'd say it has more of a meaty flavor. It's from the same area of, of the, uh, the cattle as, you know, pig. Oh, yeah. You said you use Sweet Baby Ray's? Sweet Baby Ray's, yeah. Uh, yep. I'll fuck with that. Dude, this is, this is super tender. Thank you. This is really good. Fresh sliced meat. Dude, that's a good barbecue salmon. Where do you get your rolls from? Uh, so, um, Baker Street. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Great place. And you got onions in here. Yep. Now, it's one thing I do with all my sandwiches. I don't think a cheesesteak's a cheesesteak without fried onions. You can say no fried onions, but I think a lot of the appeal of a cheesesteak is that fried smell. I, you need it. I mean, you just like, so I automatically put onions on everything. So that's delicious. Let's try this fucking pretzel. Oh, look at that whiz. Whiz, and you said there's a cream cheese mayo? Yeah, cream cheese mm. mayonnaise uh, concoction on the bottom. That pretzel's good too. A little everything bagel seasoning on there too? That's right, yep. That's fucking banging. And this is the cauliflower? Yeah, yeah that's the trace. That's, that's a little, you know, between between courses kind of thing. You need vegetables, you know? Yeah, I and I'm saying like, some. I'm sure you get it a lot. Lots of lot, um, vegetarians and vegans out there. Yep, yep, and I feel like this hits it. I'm not a big uh, tofu guy. I'm not. Like, I, I respect it and everything, but I really love vegetables. So if I can throw some vegetables mm. into uh, my menu, I do. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> it's different, right? Mm hmm It's like, it's so simple. Uh, it really is just seasoned cauliflower whiz and, uh, you know, crispy onions and fried onions, but man, is it good. It, it really is a thing. If I'm in the kitchen and hungry, I'll just make that real quick because it's it's fast and simple. I do have a vegan option. It's a, it's a char sui uh, eggplant that mm -hmm. I make. Um, these rolls actually are vegan. All these rolls are vegan. Most rolls, I mean, a lot of rolls are and they just don't advertise it. Yeah. Um, I mean, come on, at the end of the day, bread is just flour, water, salt, yeast. You yeah. Know? And that's basically what these are, but they have like a really nice, I would say like a little bit of a sourness to them. Like a little bit of a sourdough without being like overly sour. Uh, look at the, 
Look at this torta. That's just beautiful with the tortillas. And what kind of, is that a chipotle crema or what? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a chili lime crema. Chili there lime you go. Crema, yep. Oh yeah. And those of you who don't know, a torta is a turtle <laughs> in Espanol. There you go, man. Mm. Turtle shell, yeah. I love it. Steak is flavored really well. Thank you, man. And these are loaded. <laughs> and that is the regular portion. That's, I did not, mm. you know, trump it up for you guys. I wanted it to be what people are actually getting. Well, I will say, I put a lot of money into this one. Barad is not cheap, but uh, enjoy, mm. man. Will it ever be on the menu? I don't know, maybe. But, you know, for right now, this is kind of like a little special thing. Mm-hmm. And I love burrata. I love cheese. I love burrata, bro. Favorite cheese. Oh. There, there's a special mm. cheese called Prima Donna. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Mm -hmm. Look it up, man. It, it's kind of like a, like a drier cheese, almost like a Parmesan Reggiano. Very good, Prima Donna. Is it dope? Is it dope? I, I, wanted, I, I never eat that. <laughs> I mean, I never ate the cheese. I never ate the burrata cheese steak before. This so. is banging. I mean, there's, tru you, there's truffle on it, right? Yeah, there's truffle salt. Yeah. It was, it's truffle burrata and then also truffle salt. You can taste it. You motherfucking fancy up in here, boy. Let's try. Let's try. <laughs> Any cottage cheese, man. Mm. I wish it was. It'd be a lot cheaper. Looks like you pillaged. Oh, yeah. A little bit of everything. <laughs> I'm going to be here for a little bit. I'm going to need a couple more beers. There you go. I've been eating cheese sticks my whole life. I love them. It, it's kind of, I mean, really, all Philadelphians, it's kind of like our honorary food. It really is. People come here, tourists. Yeah. I would say our Times Square is Pats and Gino's. What's, the, what's your best seller right now? Like, what do you get? To uh, right now, out of all of these, probably the Torta. Um, I can, yeah, I can see why. The thing is. And the Carosa. Yeah, the Carosa, dude. Yeah. It's a gar it's basically fried. As a grilled cheese with garlic bread, deep fried deliciousness with mac. It's phenomenal. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, no problem, man. Oh. And I'll be honest, I do the cold marinara because the sandwich is so hot, it kind of, I, I don't know. I, I like the cold marinara. I'm good with it too. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I'm going to have to come out here again. Well, no, I'll just find you in Philly in April. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I'll be all around the city, and then after that, hopefully when big events start again, yeah. I'll be there too, which, which will happen. I'm very optimistic. I we would have bought a food truck if I was. Me and Kurt were talking how like we miss like shows, live music. Yeah. Dude, that'll be a killer Like when festivals are back in, yeah. pull up the food truck, got the cheesesteaks right there ready to rock and roll. Hell yeah, man. Well, I look forward to going, actually catching you out in the city in the truck. Want to thank you for like this amazing food. I'm going to continue eating this. Um, like the food is amazing and uh, thank you for having us. And thank you for the gear too. I'm gonna rock the oh, shit out yeah, of those yeah. shirts. Whistle. All right guys, thanks for joining me and the wizard over here trying out his cheese steaks. Definitely check him out. I'm gonna send up the information so you can follow him, check out where his truck is. And if you're in this area, definitely order this through uh, the apps. What apps are you uh, delivering through right now? Uber Eats, Grubhub, and um, DoorDash. There you go, so look him up. Order it if you're in the area. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. Always like and share. I'll see you guys later.